physical agility assessment consists of sit-ups, push-ups, and a mile and a half run. In this video, our officers will show you how to properly perform sit-ups and push-ups, as well as give you instructions on running. Now we must stress, it is your responsibility to prepare yourself physically for the test. Do not wait until you apply to begin working out. Start today and train hard, not only for the test, but for your future police academy training and fitness improvements. The physical agility assessment happens right here at the St. Louis County and Municipal Police Academy. Be sure to arrive early, wear appropriate clothing such as a t-shirt, gym shorts, or sweatpants, gym socks, and running shoes, and bring a water bottle. Any appropriate attire or clothing with derogatory photos and text are not allowed. After checking in, an instructor will brief all applicants on how the test will be given and demonstrate each portion of the test. It's important to pay attention to all instructions given to you by test administrators. Our physical agility assessment has different tiered testing standards for both males and females. Let's explain. Males ages 20 to 29 must complete at least 38 sit-ups in one minute, 29 push-ups in one minute, and run 1.5 miles in less than 12 minutes and 29 seconds. Females ages 20 to 29 must complete at least 32 sit-ups in one minute, 15 push-ups in one minute, and run 1.5 miles in under 15 minutes and five seconds. Males ages 30 to 39 must complete at least 35 sit-ups in one minute, 24 push-ups in one minute, and run one and a half miles in under 12 minutes and 53 seconds. Likewise, females ages 30 to 39 must complete 25 sit-ups in one minute, 11 push-ups in one minute, and run one and a half miles in less than 15 minutes and 56 seconds. For our next age group, male applicants ages 40 to 49 must complete at least 29 sit-ups in one minute, 18 push-ups in one minute, and run 1.5 miles in under 13 minutes and 50 seconds. For females ages 40 to 49, they must complete at least 20 sit-ups in one minute, nine push-ups in one minute, and run 1.5 miles less than 17 minutes and 11 seconds. In our final age group, male applicants ages 50 and above must complete at least 24 sit-ups in one minute, 13 push-ups in one minute, and complete the 1.5 mile run in less than 15 minutes and 14 seconds. Respectfully, female applicants ages 50 and above must complete 14 sit-ups in one minute, seven push-ups in one minute, and run 1.5 miles in less than 19 minutes and 10 seconds. Okay, now let's begin. Hi, I'm Officer Cruz. Today we are going to show you the proper technique to successfully complete the push-ups, sit-ups, and mile and a half run as part of our physical agility assessment. The first part of the assessment is the sit-up examination. As you can see, we will have a spotter sitting on the person taking the test knees, and they also will place their hands over the test taker's ankles and have the feet pushed together. You will also have your arms crossed across your body, high up on your shoulders, securing a tight grip to ensure that you do not pull your shirt away from your body during the assessment. A proper repetition will be moving all the way up and your elbows will cross the plane of your knees and you will come back down and touch your shoulder blades to the mat. That will be one successful repetition. If any time you build momentum and use your hips, that will not count. If any time you move from side to side to build momentum, that will not count as well. And if at any time you pull your shirt away from your body, to help you get up and get over your knees, that will not count as well. If any time you need to rest, you will rest in the up position. We advise that you have no more than a few seconds because remember this is a one minute timed assessment. The female sit-ups will have the same exact instructions as the male sit-ups as we just explained. The second assessment will be the push-up assessment. As you can see, we have a spotter here. They will come off at a 45 degree angle and they will place a closed fist underneath the test taker's breastbone in the middle. For a proper repetition, we would like your feet to be together and your arms should be shoulder width apart. You will start this test in the up position and you will go all the way down and lower yourself to the person's fist that is spotting you and go all the way back up for full extension and lockout. If at any time you start doing short push-ups where you do not go all the way down and touch the fist or go to full lockout as such, those will not count. Remember, a full repetition is up to full lockout all the way down to the fist and all the way back up. If at any time your hips are slouching and you do a push up as such, or if you arch your back and go into a pike position, that will not count as well. We ask you rest in the up position. Also, just like the sit-ups, this will be no more than a few seconds because there's not a lot of time to waste. If at any time you collapse and fall to the floor, the test will be over. 
Next, we will show you how to do the proper technique for a female push-up. As you can see, we still have the same spotter coming in in a 45 degree angle, and that fist will be placed between the center breastbone. Like the male push-ups, you will start in the up position, and as you can see, the legs are crossed, and you go down and touch the fist, and also go back up to the full lockout extension. If at any time you also get tired in this, you can rest in the up position, but once again, that is also no more than a few seconds because this is a one minute timed assessment. The same rules apply for resting as they did the male push-up. The final portion of the assessment is the one and a half mile run. Prior to the test starting, we ask that you ensure that your shoes are tied tight and your shirt is tucked in all the way around your waist. There are not many rules for this test, but we ask if you need to pass a runner, the slower runner will move to the right you should be yelling track well in advance to pass them, and when you pass them, the slower runner should move back in in a single file line and continue the run. We will also let you know every time two minutes has passed and every five laps that you cross the finish line. Remember, this is a 29 lap assessment. Thank you for watching our physical agility assessment. We look forward to seeing you inside our recruitment office soon. For more information, visit our website at stlouiscountypolice.com.